Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. <laughs> We've got Mean Girls in Oz. <laughs> Are those the, the Wicked Witches? Uh, you gotta curb your plan to parachute into a gutter. Yeah, that's you don't want to parachute into gutters, I don't think. Uh, gal rule? Is it like gal's rule? <laughs> uh, they, they rule great fleece, apparently. And then we're aiming to cowl intend man. I don't know what to do. Are we intending a manhole? All right, aim and cow. Okay, so I'm seeing gal and cow. Do we want to put those together? I'm not sure. I mean, California, I'm sorry, cow could be the first three letters of California. Could also be calorie. Gal could be gallon. Okay, well, gallon, inches, and ounces? I don't know. Calorie is a unit of measurement. Is there another? I feel like in. I'm always suspicious when they're next to each other, right? Um, so. I don't want any comments saying shuffle first, because I specifically don't shuffle first so that I can gain information from how they laid out the puzzle. Um, I don't get tricked by it. I feel like this is worth a try as units of measurement uh, abbreviated. Let's try it. Yeah, okay. Unit abbreviations. Nice. Despite them being next to each other, it felt right. So what, what, I mean, parachute stands out to me. A lot of these stand out to me. I feel like girls and gal, they wanted you to put together. I think that was probably a red herring. Uh, did not fall for it. Um, what would girls go with, though? I mean, are we are we a fill in the blank today? That would be fun. We haven't had one in a bit. We've got gu okay, gutter and curb are features of a road. So is a manhole. Uh, what else are you going to find on a road? I mean, girls can be on roads, but I don't think that would be in the category. Also, parachutes. Great. Okay, yeah. So the great, the curb, the gutter, and the manhole are all like features on a road. I don't know what they would. Sidewalk sites. <laughs> okay, sure. That sounds like a very New Yorker way of putting that. I don't know. What do you think? Parachute really makes me think that, like, especially with what the other words we have here, it really makes me think it's going to be purple. Um, same with girls, actually. So maybe maybe at intend and plan and aim are all just like planning. I don't know. Like I hate using the word in the category, but you can you can be meaningful about something. Uh, maybe we should think of, okay, I don't think fleece, parachute, and girls go in that category, so what would these mean? Um, like, is there a phrase that involves parachute, like golden parachute? Yes, golden parachute, the first thing I thought of. Because we've got golden girls, which is a TV show, golden rule, which is uh, do unto others as you'd, have, as you'd have done unto yourself. The golden parachute is uh, what rich people get <laughs> when they fail. They get the golden parachute. And then golden fleece. Uh, what is, what is Golden Fleece? Um, it sounds familiar. Is that from is that from a um, a nursery not nursery rhyme? What 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 word am I thinking of? Um, and it was Golden Blank, of course. Uh, I'll just look it up. All right, Golden Fleece from Greek mythology. Uh, is the fleece of the golden wooled winged winged ram? Christ, some <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce that right. Chrysomalos. Chrys it. Uh, that res that rescued Phrixus and brought him to Colchis. So it, it's Greek mythology. Phrixus gave the fleece to King Aetes, who kept it in a sacred grove. Cool. All right. So Greek mythology is what I was looking for. I, I didn't think that was what it was from, but I was thinking about the golden eggs, the goose that gave, laid the golden eggs, actually. Well, uh, back to this. Um, I feel like this was a harder one today. Um, but I saw through it, so I think I'm getting better at the game. I don't think that this one was easy. Um, I think there were plenty of red herrings in here, um, and I was I was actually I'm pretty proud of myself for looking at parachute and thinking of golden parachute, and then connecting that to golden girls and going yeah that has to be it. So that helped me. Um, I, I thought mean would go okay. Have in mind was this category name. I didn't notice that. Anyway, uh, is anyone still watching? Leave a comment if you watched this all the way through, and also let me know how you did. Let's do the mini crossword for April 18th. Let's go. Bluegrass instrument. Um, banjo, probably. Audible way to think. Ooh, audible way to think. Like thinking out loud. Um, I'm not sure what word would be used for that. Um, Aladdin character whose first line is, Oi, 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. That would be the genie. Uh, members of a company C-suite. I mean, the CEOs, right? Or the, the management. I'm not sure what word would be used there. Uh, okay, I'm seeing one down is bagel. The schmear goes here. <laughs> Gotta love some schmear. Um, so maybe that'll help. Execs. Members of our execs. All right, nine across behind schedule. Late. 
right, what's six of crocs? Audible way to think. Probably AU, but what, let's look at the downs. Amazon Assistant is Alexa. Okay, not AU. Uh, group of nine is a nonet. Didn't we have nonet and something else recently? Battery life informally. Juice. And then this is allowed and... Uh, okay, 101. What is this? Poems like to autumn and to a skylark. Odes. Ah, interesting. Cool. Uh, I think I covered everything. Banjo allowed. Yeah, Audible Way to Think is allowed. Uh, Genie. Execs. Uh, this could have been lots. <laughs> it's late, though. Uh, Bagel. Alexa. Bagel helped a lot. Bagel, Alexa, Nanette, Juice, and Odes. What did we have Nanette in? There was a clue in the crossword from the big crossword from Tuesday, I think, that was like quartet plus quintet equals. I think that's what it was. Cool. Well, um, let me know how you did. Let's do strands for April 18th. Today's theme is so what, uh, but so is spelled like sewing. Um, oh, I almost, uh, Mothra. <laughs> no, not Mothra. Um, you can't make mother. Um, is it just moth? No. Okay. So sewing related things like needle, right? Do we see needle anywhere? I kind of see needle. Yeah. Uh, thread maybe. Yeah, there's thread. Um, thimble. Do we have thimble? Yeah, we've got a thimble. Uh, what is this one? There's not, there's only one vowel. Stitch. There we go. What our spanogram's got a, it's either got to go top down or it's got to go over here. It would it just be, it wouldn't just be sewing. Like what would, right? Well, let's define more words. There's patch here. Um, CL probably cloth. And then TAI has got to get out tail. Okay, Taylor. Oh, it's going to be tailoring for the spanogram. Nice, tailoring, and then seam. Wow. I don't know. Th this game's too easy now. I don't know what they're doing. Like, it used to be hard, right? I don't think I'm getting that much better at this game. Uh, I don't know. Let me know. Uh, but I feel like I'm just demolishing it lately. Yeah, n nothing too interesting about this one. I really like... Okay, the most recent one I really liked was when the spanogram was sandwich and it split the grid. Was it sandwich? No, it was partners that split the grid. And then it was words that were partnered together. This and that was the theme. I really liked that one. More of that, please. I want it to be like a puzzle, right? So was in the theme. And the spanogram was tailoring and it was a bunch of sewing related things like thread and cloth. And as soon as you know what word to look for, it's much easier to find them. So anyway, that would be my feedback for today. Way too easy today. I don't know. I... I read an article that they're getting a lot of feedback that Gen Gen Z uh, is really enjoying connections uh, uh, and uh, connections and whatever this game's called uh, strands and um, but mostly connections and strands they're really enjoying and uh, I, maybe they're trying to tone it down for Gen Z but I feel like Gen Z enjoyed it because you know we're vocally complaining when it's hard but that doesn't mean we don't like that it's hard I don't know tell me if you agree but like. It gives it part of the spark that they throw us through through these weird, um, these weird challenges. But anyway, but I'm not Gen Z, so I can't speak for Gen Z. Uh, so if you are Gen Z, let me know what you want out of this game, and maybe maybe uh, New York Times will listen.